Hi, I'm Karina. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Um, before I start in the video, I just want to say two quick things. One, okay, actually three. Um, one, I'm aware that my makeup looks a little crazy. My foundation is like one or two shades too dark for me. Like, I know I didn't do it on purpose, but here we are. <laughs> two, I'm sorry. I cannot sit still. I have to like do stuff, okay? Sorry. I literally cannot sit still. And three, I know I haven't posted in a long time. See, like, what was that? You know, I don't really have a following, so it doesn't matter. But basically, I've been filming videos, and it just didn't work out. I didn't like the way they looked, and I was not going to put myself out there if I wasn't confident in what I was putting out. Because putting yourself on YouTube is, like, a really big deal. You know, anybody can watch it, anybody can comment, unless you disable comments. But, you know, generally, anybody can watch it, anybody can comment. And so, I don't want to put myself out there unless I felt comfortable with what I was putting out there. So, that is why. Um, today I'm going to start off easy and just do a Birchbox versus Ipsy, which is what I've actually like pretty much only done. That's like all I do. So I'm working on that. Um, but yeah, so I'll just get right into it. Okay. So for those of you who may not be familiar with Birchbox and Ipsy, they're basically both $10 a month subscription services for makeup and it's also like, you know, makeup, makeup brushes, um, shampoos, conditioners, body whatever like anything that relates to your beauty and yourself is pretty much in these boxes um so you can opt to have them send you certain things but i kept mine pretty open just so i could get a big variety um yeah so i'm gonna start with birchbox um so the reason i'm starting with birchbox is because they usually send more like shampoo conditioner like face lotion which is like you know it's exciting but not really so <laughs> starting with that one first so, here's the box. So, Birch Box comes in a box in a box. And the boxes are always really pretty. They change by month. So, this is this month's. By the way, I'm sorry about my nails. I just took off my acrylics and, like, you know, it won't come off in every place. And my nails are kind of damaged, so we're just going to pretend it's not happening. <laughs> Alright. So, if there's, like, a note. I don't really feel like reading it, but it looks like this. And then on the back, it just, ooh. On the back it just has all the products and what they're for and how much like a full size cost I'm gonna start with this one what is this um oil all in one milk I don't even know what that means what are you so it's Devine's oil or O1 I don't know all in one milk and it's a uh, nourishing all-in-one leave-in treatment detangles while adding volume sign and heat protection so I'm going to go ahead and assume that means it's free hair, which is actually good because I don't know if you guys can see, but I did dye my hair and it's fading a little bit. And I dyed it like twice in a span of like a week because one bottle is just not enough for my hair. So this is actually nice. Just uh, some oil for my hair. Focus. What the Focus. Why are you doing this to me? Focus. Uh, it's like me in school. Why? Alright, whatever. It doesn't want to focus. I don't know why. I'm just using my phone, so it's not some fancy camera, so whatever. And it's just like a spray, so. Hello. Ooh, you better get all up in there. Give me some volume. Ooh, it smells good. Oh, wait. Does it smell good? I don't know. Ooh, it does smell good. I'm so confused. <laughs> I don't know if I like it or not. Anyways. The next little cute bottle that I got is this Bioderma Solution. Why are they giving me things I can't pronounce? CBM H2O, which is designed for acne prone skin. This no rinse makeup remover soothes as it cleanses. All you need to do is soak a cotton pad and gently wipe over skin. So it's just like a little makeup remover. I don't know why my camera just wants to focus on this and not the bottles today, but we're just gonna. Oh my god, there's a guy going into my parking lot. This is always so awkward because I film right in front of my window and I'm like outside the parking lot. So anytime anybody comes or leaves, they just like stare at me. <laughs> but anyways, yes, it comes in this little bottle. And it's supposed to be a makeup remover, but to be completely honest with you, I'll probably use it after I shower and after I take off my makeup just to get off any excess oils because I don't, like I don't really think this is going to take off my makeup. I don't know. Like I need like a full like shower to feel like cleansed. You know what I mean? You know? So many options. Okay, so... I got a dry shampoo, I do believe, yep. A dry shampoo with oat milk, and it just looks like this. Okay, alright. Why do you not want me to be clean? Okay. Ooh, that was aggressive. It 
It smells good. I don't know. It smells like drink shampoo with oat milk, which is, you know, whatever. It smells like oat milky. Don't know what that means, but that's what it smells like. <laughs> um, the next two things that I have are conditioner and shampoo from the same company as... It's the parking lot guy again. Um, oil. Oil. Conditioner and shampoo from the same, like, oil hair company thing. They were like, hey, I see that you dyed your hair and you messed it up. Here you go. You fix it. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm so funny, but I'm, I'm really not. Okay, so this is Coastal Scents Revealed Smoky Eyeshadow Sampler. So it looks like this. I've actually heard, ooh, two colors from the Smoky Eyeshadow Palette. So it's not just one, it's two. I've actually heard about Coastal Scents. I feel like they're like really good cheap eyeshadows, I think, if that's the right company that I'm thinking of. So the full size is $20, so I don't know. Let's see. Ugh. This is so misleading. They're very tiny. They're very tiny. Let's see. Let's do some swatching. So this is what they look like on my finger. I would use this one as a highlighter, like. Oh, yes, girl. Oh, okay, anyways. <laughs> getting distracted oh okay well the brown one was just like not having it come on so there's the brown one and that one the lightest shade is definitely just like a highlighter shade in my personal opinion I don't like sparkly eyeshadow I'm more of a matte girl so I'll probably be using the lighter one as a highlighter and the darker one we'll just see I don't know maybe it'll just I dropped it maybe it'll just sit in uh, my makeup foam area for the rest of my life I don't know and then this last thing that I got was Well People Bio Brightener Cream Universal Glow. Ooh, is it a highlighter? It is a highlighter. I'm scared. Okay, last time I opened a bottle like this, I opened it like sideways and just it all fell out because it was a powder. But it's not a powder, so that's not going to happen. Um, it's like a little, it looks like a little concealer with like sparkles in it. So I don't know how to feel about this. Ew. Oh, this is odd. It feels like a lotion. Oh, wait, that was the one with eyeshadow on it. Let's pick a clean finger. Is it, was there a spider? Oh, it was just my hair. <laughs> okay, anyways, it's this finger and it looks very shiny and that's pretty much it. I don't really understand. And that's, this is right here is where I put it on my hand. Oh, the sun would come off the right. Okay, so that's where I put it on my hand, and nothing looks different at all. The full size is $23.99, and I would not pay $23.99 for oil, so I look really... What is happening? Anyways, this is $23.99. Oh, I didn't even show you. Well, I did show you. But it looks like this, and I would not pay $23.99 for oil with tiny, tiny amounts of glitter in it. <laughs> I would use this on days where I just wasn't wearing makeup, and I just wanted, like, a light like iridescence to my face, you know? Like I just wanted to look like, you know, <laughs> does that make any sense? Because I feel like that, that made sense to me. <laughs> so yes, that's everything. Honestly, I'm most excited about this oil because I just like, I love hair oils. I'm really getting into um, taking care of like my, my natural skin, you know, as opposed to like what my face in. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, I'm just getting like really into taking care of my skin and my hair, especially because I have dyed my hair so much. Um, so I am most excited about that hair oil. Hopefully that'll help save me. Because I've really been trying to grow out my hair and then I went and I dyed it and I probably ruined everything. So, so let's just get into the Ipsy. This is what the bag looks like. It's super cute. It's like that on this side and then it's like super soft on the other side. I could see myself... I can see myself taking this to like a party. You are beautiful, pass it on. All right, guys, you're all beautiful. The card says so. Let's get to looking. That was weird, that should not, I should not have said that. Okay. Treatment mask. Smooth evenly through hair, combing with fingers if needed. Chill out for five to 10 minutes, then rinse. Okay, chill out, you guys. Like I really needed to be told to chill out. That's so nice. It's just like a little hair mask. Everybody is taking care of me. You know, Ipsy and Birchbox is really looking out for me, and I appreciate that. Thank you. Because I have 
messed up my hair and I really needed some help. The next thing is something that I've gotten before. Well, not this exact product, but this brand. It's Dr. Brandt and it's Microdermabrasion Age Defying Exfoliator. Alright, because you know I'm old, so. Oh, I tried to smell it, but there's a thing on it. Oh, it smells good. It kind of smells like grapefruit. So that's nice. It just looks like this. Did I show you the other one? It looks like this. So now my face and my hair are taken care of. And now I have this little Elizabeth Mott blending brush. I love getting brushes. Brushes make me so excited. I'm just recently getting into eyeshadow because um, I tried to do my eyeshadow for prom and it did not work out and it was really frustrating and I was like, I'm going to learn. It's actually smaller than most blending brushes. I feel like most blending brushes are really big, so maybe this will be nice because I have kind of small heads, you know what I mean? Just got to blend up in there. Blend up in there. And then I got M Princess. It looks like this. Pressed Chestnut. And that's all it says. So I'm going to go ahead and assume it's an eyeshadow. And this is like really weird packaging. But I like it. Ready? I'm going to break it. You know, can't you just see like this coming off? Anyways, let's pick a clean finger. There's like hair on my nail, which is weird. I don't know how that happened. Oh, it feels really rough. Like most eyeshadows are soft, but this is not soft at all. It's a nice color. Look at that. That's like eye look right there. Yeah, so it's really nice. It's like dark. I mean, they describe it as chestnut, but I feel like when it comes off, it's more bronze than anything. If we take some on our blending brush. This is going to be awful, you guys. Why am I doing this to myself? Should I do it? How do I do it? I can't even, like, really see what I'm doing. But, does that even make a difference? Yes, it made me look stupid. <laughs> Oh, now I gotta do the other side. Wow, this was a terrible decision. Who let me do this? Alright, so I basically look the same, except for now I look crazy. <laughs> so I had fun doing that, even though I don't even know if it changed anything. And then the last thing I got is this Tardiest Lip Paint by Tarte. Okay, it looks like this. The sun is messing with me, but there. And it's so tiny. It's really small. Okay, why do I struggle so hard opening? Oh, look how small it is. I don't know what I was expecting, but this is really, like, tiny. Ooh, a lot of products came off of this brush, which I like. And it's that color. That's pretty. But I feel like that was, like, half the bottle that I just swatched right on my hand. So this is what it looks like. I feel like on camera it's showing up very, very pink. In person it's more nude, but... Overall, it's a nice color, and I feel like it goes with my bag. Don't I look tray chic with my like tiny little lipstick? <laughs> How much do you think I can use this before it's gone? I feel like if I used it every day for a solid week, it would be done. So that's everything that I got, um, besides the fact that I made myself look psycho with that eyeshadow. I just not not do that ever again. Like I said, Ipsy ended up giving me more makeup stuff than Birchbox did. Um, Birchbox is very much hair care and skin care centered um mostly because of the quiz you take a quiz and you know you rank what you want so i did and that's why i get that stuff if you didn't want it you could probably be like mm, don't do don't send me that don't want it i am a terrible youtuber all right what's the color here rose now you know and that is everything so thank you guys for sticking through this video i know i'm very oh you got see my sweatpants my secrets are coming out okay <laughs> you just get really bored by these unboxing videos let me know i find them so interesting to watch but other people might not like them so just let me know um thank you so much for watching again i am karina and i will see you next time